landscapes, I'm going to do kind of a light and airy scene. So it's going to be a springtime scene. So I'm going to think about things that I can use in this to create that mood that I want, this kind of light and whimsical um, atmosphere. So when I am planning out my landscape, I want to think about the foreground, the midground, and the background. So the foreground is what is closest to us, the midground is in between, and then the background is that last part where the sky meet, meets it. So for my foreground, I'm going to have these kind of rolling hills, and I'll probably have some flowers in here too. And then in my midground, I'm going to place this little cottage. I'm going to have a path that leads to these flowers. And then in my background, I'm going to have these be kind of dark woods in here. So I'm going to fill that in with this kind of darkness. And that contrast will make things in my foreground and my midground even brighter. So I'm going to sketch this out and now I'll start adding some color. Alright, so I wanted to stop and talk about some of the tools with my colored pencils that I'm using. So you can see in this foreground, it's kind of lighter, and then as it goes back, it goes kind of darker. So this darkness kind of accentuates the lightness right here and makes it seem even brighter. And also you'll notice that I'm layering a lot of colors together. Instead of just layering green right here, I have a few different greens and I also added yellow in here. As well as right here, I added a kind of blue. And then in the house, I have some purple to just add interest to the color and not have it be a flat color. Um, you can go back to my video on the color wheel and kind of learn how these complementary colors on the color wheel kind of blend together to make it more interesting. Like in here, I use some yellows and some purples, which are complementary to make the color brighter. So. Now that I have these two, I'm going to start going into my background. So I'm going to make this even darker by layering more and darker colors together to kind of accentuate how bright and cheerful this foreground is. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So there is my landscape. So you can see how this dark rim right here kind of pushes all of these layers forward. And this seems even more bright and whimsical by the darkness in the background. So I hope you guys have fun doing that and you join us for the rest of this week as we use these tools that we're gathering from artists to create our own artwork. So I will see you soon.